Well, speaking of the NHRA deal, Stan, we've got it queued up here, and I know we're gonna we'll have a little fun talking about what happened at the four wide nationals. We talked to uh, Lyle. Uh, last week about this and i think it'll be interesting to get your perspective and you even sent me a, a photo that we've got here that i think that our audience will enjoy uh having you explain jt can we get that video pulled up here well actually first here's here's the photo it's yep. uh it, it's yep. showing your 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 team strategy for letting you know which of the four lights on the tree to look at for that round which has got to be among the most difficult things to change round after round, depending on what lane you're in. Well, that's, that's, that's the, that's the last, that's the last, that's the last sticker I had in my car before, <laughs> before, before we went to the finals. And, you know, we were out there and NHRA sent a little memo and said, Hey, uh, we're going to have a, we're going to have a seminar on Thursday evening for all drivers to come to the starting line and talk about how you race the four wives, you know? And I'm like, okay, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go up there for that and see that. And man, there was a tremendous, uh, a lot of drivers up there and uh, Alan Reinhardt was running the meeting and uh, he's like, guys, he said, it's pretty simple. You know, you got four, you got four lanes, you got four bullets, you know, and they go straight across. He said, but I promise you, you're used to, if you're running the right lane and get somebody and somebody's in the left, your mind wants you to think that your bulbs on your side or whether you're in the left lane and you're running somebody, your mind wants you to think your bulbs on the left side. And, uh, Everybody kind of got a perspective of it. But one guy come up and mentioned, he said, here's what uh, Camry Caruso did. Camry Caruso put a sticker on her dashboard, and after every round had four circles on it, and the crew would mark down what light bulb was hers. I'm like, man, that just struck me. I said, that is perfect. And that's what we're going to do. We go back to the pits. Spencer Jacobson, Spencer, every round, puts that tape on there, tells me what one is mine. I had no issues right before I roll in the water box. Uh, or go to stage in, I look at my dashboard and I know which one was mine, no issues until uh, <laughs> until, until the pressure rose up uh, like it did. You know, we, we get in that finals and we're excited about, I like a good show. I mean, you got all four power riders, you got turbo, you got screw car, you got nitrous, you got pro charger. I mean, everybody's lined up in there. You got two Fords and, and two Chevrolets going at it. And I'm excited. And, uh, and I just forgot to look at my dash, you know, and I got up in there and got excited and, uh, of course, you know, already you, Thorne and Lyle were super fast on the tree. And, uh, and Ricky had already gave me several lessons at Darlington. On the tree. <laughs> so, so we get all, we get all, I get all pumped up. And just as soon as I bumped in, uh, my number two bulb turned on the top and it just grabbed me. It was on my side of the tree. It grabbed me and I could not, it, I didn't see anything else. And, uh, and one, downfall of our group is is my radio communication isn't great uh in my car when i'm close to them for some reason or other. we're going to work on that of course and uh my kids kind of tell me say dad you uh you you, you passed the course for the seminar but you failed the exam 